Welcome back to BYU Sports Station. We are live in Studio B. Let's meet one of the newest members of the BYU football family, I'm part of the 2024 recruiting class. And as I mentioned, like those that have met him have said, oh, fantastic personality, awesome football player. He's going to be track star. One of those unforgettable BYU fan favorites for sure. Yes, and multi-talented. His name is Trey Alexander, and he is joining us live over Zoom. Trey, welcome What's to up, BYU Trey? Sports Nation. Congratulations on signing with the Cougars. What's up, y'all? I appreciate y'all for having me. I want to start with this. Because you had options, and it came down to what well, we heard Georgia Tech and BYU, and you, you opt to go across the country to Provo, Utah, instead of staying closer to home. What was it about BYU that made you think, I need to be there, and I'm willing to go across the country to do so? Uh, the main thing for me is once I got to campus and I really experienced the love and the genuine support from all of the fans, it was somewhere I knew like I had to go. Like, And then they started talking a lot about the connections outside of football. And for me, I know football one day is going to come to the end no matter if I play 15 years or five years. So setting myself up outside of football is definitely something that I look forward to. So when I got up there to BYU, and that's one of the things they push, and then the people are so great, like I knew it was a no-brainer for me. It's hard out of, right out of high school to have that kind of perspective. So who in your life has kind of helped you in this journey to be like, listen, football is the main thing I'm doing right now, but it won't always be? My dad, uh, my dad, he definitely tells me and all my teammates every day, he says, football going to be done with you before you're done with it. Mm. He doesn't say that, you know, scare you away from your dream, but he always says that to always appreciate the snaps you get, but make sure you focus on stuff outside of football as well, because if you don't and you just in football, you know, you ain't going to have no identity. And with us, with me and all my siblings, he always pushes us to, you know, grow in multiple ways. Trey Alexander is on BYU Sports Nation. Who was the first person to contact you from BYU, and how did the recruiting start? The first person to contact me was uh, Coach Papinga, and the way it started was a school that's in my uh, district. We played against them last year, and uh, he was at that school recruiting. And he asked them uh, about any good cornerbacks in the area. So they said my name. He came to the school. Like, I had never like, had contact with them before this. He came to the school. He talked to me for a little bit, and then he gave me a phone call for like 20 minutes of that night. And then two weeks later, Coach Gilford came to see me. Uh, I worked out. He saw me. He offered me. And then ever since then, it's been like the whole coach staff has to talk to me. So it's been it's been great. Did you know about BYU before you were contacted by those coaches? I knew about it, but like I didn't know like how big of a fan base it had, how great it was. Like I knew they would pull off some upsets every now and then. Uh, you know, I knew of Taysom Hill, Jamal Williams, Zach Wilson, but like. I didn't know a whole lot about the school. And now you do, because you're one of us, which is, which is awesome. <laughs> so you're telling me uh, Gennaro saw you work out one time, and was like, yeah, let's offer this guy. Yeah, he saw me work out. He was like, yeah, let's offer me. And then it was crazy because my workout wasn't even like a major workout. It was just like a bunch of small drills, a bunch of quick stuff. You know, it was me and my dad out there. He saw me work out, and he was like, yeah, you got something special. So he was just confirming what he felt like he already knew from you on film, probably, which is which is amazing. So describe the kind of cornerback you are to people. Um, I'm that cornerback that definitely loves to cover people. Like I'm that shutdown cornerback in my eyes. Like uh, this past year, I gave a one catch, and uh, I don't what? plan on getting one catch. Deep. Yeah, I gave a one catch, and it was a five yard play. It was a five yard play. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't, I don't like getting beat. Like. I'm that cornerback that if I lose a rep, don't be worried because I'm coming back, you know, with some more. Like, whenever I lose, I know it's my fault. Like, there is rare that somebody's going to beat me because uh, they're better than me. Most times I mess up, it's my mistake. So, I'm that cornerback that David loves to cover people. I will come up and hit you. Um, I play with a lot of energy, a lot of passion. Like, I play with my emotions on my sleeve when I'm in the game. That's, that's something that I'm big on, like letting it all out on the field. Trey Alexander gave up one catch. One whole catch. <laughs> wow. 6'2", 165 pounds. Which player in the NFL do you try and emulate at your position? The one that I say I probably try to emulate, if anybody, is like Jalen Ramsey. And it's not mm. more so like play style. It's just the mindset he has when he plays. Like he always feels like he's the best. He don't like to give up catches to nobody. He played with a swagger for like the last seven years since he's been in the NFL. You know, that's hard to replicate. And then a younger one would probably be Sauce Gardner. Uh, you know, I get that uh, comparison a lot, and Sauce is definitely a great player. For him to go out and dominate like he has been these past two years is definitely special to see. 
That's amazing, man. And you're six two and a half, so you're a taller guy like Sauce. Um, do you have a nickname? Because Sauce is a pretty good nickname. Nah. Yeah, I guess I find one when the fans give me one, but I don't have a nickname. Right now. <laughs> Let's talk about your track prowess. Uh, four by what? Uh, you're the state champ. You're in the four by four hundred, number one rated uh, relay in the country. What role does track play in your athleticism? Man, track plays a major role uh, for me. Before track, I wasn't getting, like, recruited a whole lot because, you know, I was slower on the field my sophomore year. So once I started to run track and I picked up some speed and really learned how to run well and be more explosive, track really, like, changed my whole life. Like, uh, I started running track my sophomore year for real high school. I had a good time. We ran one state that first year. Then this past year, once my time started to go down to, like, the 48s and 47s, that's when I got the Mississippi State offer. And then from there, I won state. I got, I want to say, 10 offers in two weeks Whoa. for football. And ever since then, it's like, it just been, track changed my whole life. I'm not going to lie. It's been, and I got seven track scholarships as well. So mm. it's been great. Hey, Trey, come run track at BYU too. Jamal Williams did one spring here. Yeah, it happened. Sure. You, yeah. you can do both there. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm probably do that my sophomore year. I don't know if I'm going to do it because I want to get acclimated first, but I'm, it's definitely been a conversation with the coaches. I love that. All right, let's finish with this, Trey. Uh, what? is your future like immediately when do you plan on getting to byu and, and fully implementing into the program at byu as you finish up your high school career uh so i'll be on campus january 6th i'll be back on campus so i'll be there for the first day of class and next semester i'll be there for the first workout i, I will be participating in spring ball i play in the spring game so i'll be doing all that stuff start january 6th Hey, let's get you in here, man. And I love your uh, your Twitter, uh, you know, background. It says the Lord will be your confidence, Proverbs three twenty six. That's a great, great scripture. We love scriptures here too, man. It's gonna be <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of them on my phone. It's like a whole bunch of notes and it's just straight scriptures. So love anytime it. I need them, I just go look at them and search them up. Great stuff, fantastic, Trey. It's great to meet you, man. Can't wait to have you on campus. We'll get you here in the studio B as well when you're back in Provo. But don't hit me. You said you're gonna hit people. Don't hit me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Trey. Good luck to you, man. We'll see you soon. Thanks, Trey. Man, thank y'all for having me. Trey Alexander on BYU Sports. One Station. catch allowed <laughs> senior year? What? Uh, well, it was a five-yard pass. And it was a five-yard like out. <laughs> Come on now. That's amazing. Yeah, great personality. Love it. Good luck to uh, Trey. Yeah, we'll see him here in a couple weeks on campus.